let me take a look at the Snow Ripper. And if you had guessed that the Hot Wheels version was called Snow Ride, you were correct. So let's take a look at both of these side by side. This is from 2013. This is not a, a new release right here. Stunt Circuit 2013. If you go to the Hot Wheels 5 packs, there is a version of Snow Ride in a 5 pack right now. I think it's called Stunt Circuit. I'll put the picture out so you can see what it looks like. Now, with the Matchbox version of Snow Ripper, the package has a warning right here. Warning, choking hazard. Uh, the bike also, or the bike, I don't think you could call it a bike. But uh, the, the, the machine, it's got a rubber band on it, so I wonder if this, I wonder if this mirror come, uh, windshield comes off easily. Let me snip off this rubber band, take a look at it, and see why they have the safety hazard. There's the uh, Hot Wheels Snow Ride and the Matchbox Snow Ripper. Now let's see, let's check out this window. Hmm. Maybe, maybe they just want to make sure that it doesn't come off. So be careful, this might come off because I got a safety warning. So they just, they just want to be sure that uh, you guys are safe. Take a look at both of them. The Snow Ripper has two wheels in the back. The Hot Wheels version of Snow Ride just has a little wheel there. F14, that tells you when that one was made. F would be 2013. And 14, the 14, it's hard to see with the chrome. But anyways, 14 would be the 14th week of last year. Whereas this one has a production code on the base. It's hard. It's right here. It's G33, it looks like. Are you going to focus? G33. That would be 2014. G is 2014. 33 would be the 33rd week of 2014. This one's kind of. This one looks like it would be easier to sit on without falling off. It's got a, a wider seat. Oh, two passage. Look, you could bring your buddy. You can ride in the back. This is a solo vehicle right here. I'll, I'll spin him around so you can take a look. This is my rotating display stand. People ask me. Hey, uh, where did you get that, or what's it called? It's called a rotating turntable or rotating display stand. You just search the internet and you can find them. Kind of far away, aren't I? So, uh, actually this surface here, I just spray painted some foam. I cut out some foam, and then I put it on top of a rotating display. This is actually a, uh, a mirror, but it gets scratched up really easy. So I put this fabric on here. And lately I've been doing this. I like it. It kind of makes it look like a... Actually, these guys... No, they don't. It'd have to be white for it to, <laughs> white for it to look like with these two guys. There's your look at the snow vehicles from Matchbox and Hot Wheels. Now, let's take a look at Drill Digger from the Matchbox line. I said that's an auger. Looks like it's auger drill. If that has a proper name, let me know. I collect toy vehicles. I don't know exactly. Oh, look, there's a hinge right here. That means this probably picks up. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Look, I'll hold him here. He can drive. Hey, you're backing up. Where are you going? So, yeah, we knew that was going to happen. Got a little moving part, just like a lot of Matchbox. And right here, you can see hey, it's wiggling. That means it definitely turns. So, if we're going to drill. Here we're drilling in, and now you're backing out. Let me. Oh, cool! It's the part of the Matchbox INC series. They have a lot of models with that temple, so you can have your own little uh, your unit. What would you call that? Your own squad of different vehicles. Up next, let's take a look at the Armored Recon Vehicle. Armored Recon Vehicle. Moving parts. Looks pretty simple. Looks pretty plain. I don't know. Why would I want to show you something out of this? Now, I don't remember. I, this one's in a five-pack. I don't remember from which one. The base says Armored Response Vehicle. Just like it says on the package. Got a camouflage tamp on the side. Kind of makes it look like an eagle right there. But I'm sure. 
I'm not sure if that's what it's intended to be. I like this vehicle because it's kind of neat. It's kind of big, big for your hand, kind of easy to hold on to. But um, looks like a hatch. It might be easier to get it in and out from here, though. Hey, what was that? Inside, you got yourself some seats so everybody can stay safe while you're being transported to your location. Let's take a look under the lid. Nothing under the lid. Now you see them. Now you don't. Fun model. Like I said, it's in a five pack, so if you don't find the single, check out the five packs. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is the same color that's in a five pack. And last up, really looking forward to this Ford. F-350 steak bed truck. Cracking open new cars. Collectibles. What are you doing? There you go. Blacked out window. So I suspect that uh, it does not have an interior. No, I'm not going to cut it open to find out. Let's see. Does it have... Uh, does this tilt or anything? Oh, sure enough. Hey, very cool. Not only does it tilt, but hey, look. Now you... Uh, anyway. Pops off really easy. <laughs> so I know later on in toy boxes you're gonna have a, you're gonna find the part right here and then wonder, hey, what the vehicle does that go to? And like I said, I like to have vehicles to where you can tow things or play with other toys. So this one has the cargo area in the back. Or maybe you got some dudes you want to give a ride. Here's my dude that came with my Scooby Doo Monster Jam. Notice how I put them on the side of the road? You don't want to be in the middle of the road because... Uh, Here we have the ice cream truck. I put him through the boosters. Not very good because he's a big piece of metal. He's not for boosters. Let's see how he is for jumps. Hey, wait. I want ice cream. I need ice cream. Ice cream over here. Ice cream, please. Can I get ice cream? And that's why you're supposed to stay on the sidewalk. Look, there you go, a couple Monster Jam dudes. You can go to a hayride or something. Snowstormer, here you go, once again, a model that I don't know how well it's gonna do on the track, but that's what this is, that's what track time is. It's a review to see how cars do on different kinds of tracks. Oh, he almost took out the truck. As you can see right here, look, he has this big open side right here. Uh, that's probably the reason why he's not getting gripped by the booster very good. The booster grabs this part right here, right? And then there's a gap, and then it grabs this one, so it's not a long, steady, long, smooth side for grip on the booster. Look at that gap in the middle under my finger. Let's try him on. Uh, we'll give him a couple more tries. Maybe he'll get grabbed great by the boosters. Oh, there's one. Ooh, look at him go! Oh, he might make it all the way. Let's see if he can go the distance. Woo! Was it an airplane? Thanks for watching. Bye bye.